In this video, I'm going to be creating an illustration using Procreate on the iPad. Hi, my name is John Small. I'm an artist and illustrator. Today I'm going to be creating an illustration using Procreate on the iPad. If you're not familiar with Procreate, it's a downloadable program. It works great on the iPad. It's a versatile tool. You can bring this outside. You can go into nature. You can draw. You can paint. Uh, it's bring it to a coffee shop. You can bring it to any room in your house. It's really a versatile tool for an illustrator. We have a lot of wildlife here on Cape Cod. We're often visited by wild turkeys, and I took that scene of the turkeys and just turned it into where they were having a picnic of their own and having a great meal with fruits and vegetables, potatoes on the plates, and this is what I created in Procreate. This illustration was recorded internally through the iPad, so you're not seeing the interface of tools and the pencil, but this is high speed, and you can see I created a gray background and I just started sketching in some turkeys. The great thing about Procreate is you can sketch them and you can move all the elements around to where you would want the elements to go. And placing them on the picnic table and around the picnic table where I thought uh, might look the best and added some trees in the background and some local colors. You can see the yellows and some of the ochre colors that are going into the base uh, under and around the picnic table and just drawing in some plates putting some food on those plates just drawing these in you can erase and undo you can move things uh, you can change a lot of things around and you can see I'm adding some color now to those vegetables everything on procreate can be built on layers Whenever, when all the turkeys disappeared and the picnic table disappeared and reappeared, those are layers, so I'm making them transparent so I can see more of what would happen in the background. As long as you keep every element separate, you can control those elements. You can move them around. You'll see some of the turkeys will be shifting a little bit. Maybe their head will tilt back further or their wing will reach out a little bit further. And I'm adding some shadows here. You can see the pumpkin in the background and some of the vegetables in the bowls are getting a little bit more depth and shading. The turkeys all have what is called a local color, a flat color, but here I'm adding in the shading and the highlighting for the turkey, giving more texture, more depth to, um, to these illustrations. And still refining the shading and the highlights on these turkeys. And I'll jump back and forth. You'll see a little bit of changes happening in the background. I'm adding a little bit more shading in the back. And now the turkey on the front. Just taking that local color, if it's a red scarf or a brown body or tan wing, using those same colors, but finding the highlights in that spectrum of color. And just working on some of the grassy elements and some of the trees in the background. This illustration probably took about 20 hours to, to finish. And it's sped up here into about a four minute video, but there's a lot of time you can put into these and you can put as much or as little time as you want to get the look that you want. You can keep these black and white. You can make them watercolor, pen and ink. There's really no limit to what you can do on Procreate if you can imagine it, you can probably draw it in, and you can draw it in different styles. And they're always adding to it. So there's just a little bit more refining happening, and this is the final piece. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up below and leave a comment. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, just hit that little circle right around here. 
and it'll give you an option for notifications bell and go ahead and click that and it will alert you to when I upload new videos. I have a lot more art related videos coming up so I hope you'll stay tuned. Thanks again for watching. This is a fun whimsical piece I put together. We have a lot of wild light, wild... This is a fun whimsical illustration I put together as we have a lot of wildlife here on Cape Cod. We're often visited here in our house. Thank <laughs> you.